Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a different video, but if you guys saw my last video, you'll see that I got fired uh, from my job. I have been working there for about two and a half years. I'm filming this video March 29th, and I got fired on March 20th, and my last day was the 27th. So yeah, <laughs> this video, I'm gonna be talking about like what kind of happened basically and what led to me no longer being at that job so let's get into it after kind of doing like a self-evaluation kind of talking it out about some of the reasons why getting a better understanding of what exactly was meant about my performance and the more i spoke about it to others the more i kind of started to self-realize the things <laughs> that wasn't working out there um for what they were looking for to truly understand exactly what they meant when they would say certain things so the first thing i would say that kind of like started it maybe was being a little disengaged a bit um I feel like there definitely was a time period of at least maybe four to six months where I was very like to myself like not really being very communicative not really like reaching out or just creating some type of relationship with those that I worked with and it wasn't anything to do with them um, it was more me um, and the type of person that I am <clears throat> I'm a very like introverted person <laughs> so I think that kind of worked against me a little bit even in my personal life I don't really have a lot of like interpersonal skills relations like really in learning and getting to know people and their stories to really bo create a bond and a deeper relationship with people I just don't really do that much um, and it's not something I really thought about until this experience. Not only am I introverted, but I'm also shy. So just being very quiet, it, it, I can see how it definitely came off as me being just like disengaged and not very involved when it came to work, especially being in my field, which is like, it was in human resources. So I was a part of the people team basically, and I wasn't really being a people person. So it was kind of ironic. I guess being a part of that so I can definitely see how there's a little bit of like a contradiction there when it came to my personality and how I was and the type of work that I was in another thing was also not really aiming to like grow and like want to try and learn new and different things about my job um, because in that field of HR there's so many different hats that you can wear um, especially if you want to grow in that field, you definitely have to dabble in a lot of different types of things. I mean, from payroll, leave of absence, conflict resolution, like benefits, that, like there's a lot of different um, areas of the field. I did my basic responsibilities when it came to work, but I didn't really try to branch out to learn more new different things. And that was something that they were looking for, someone who really wanted to grow and learn different aspects of the field and I just kind of stuck to just what I had to do. I was just tunnel vision like this is what I do this is just what I'm gonna do and so I never really got to a point where I actually took that step to try to learn something new which leads me into the next one which is not taking initiative and because I wasn't taking those steps to want to learn and grow and try different things within the field it just seemed like I was very stagnant and that's just not what they were looking for you know they were looking for someone who was going to try to do and be more and grow like I said and I was just stagnant I was just stagnant you know so I get it another thing was not finding resolutions to try to solve problems like if something was off or if something maybe could have been done better if it was a little manual and you know something didn't go right when I was doing a process 
I didn't like really point it out. Instead, I would just find a workaround. I would just be like, well, I'll just do this. This should be fine. Instead of really trying to find a, a solution to prevent that from happening moving forward, or at least talking to someone about it who can help me figure out a solution for it and bouncing off ideas, I would just be in my little tunnel and just, well, I'll just try to figure it out or I'll just go around it. So if somebody else was doing the process and then they pointed it out, it was like, oh, it seems like, you know, something is not going so right with this process. Like, oh, why didn't you let us know like that this wasn't working? And I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. And I think that's part of my personality too. I am very opposite of a type A person. I am very type B personality. So with that, sometimes I do just, oh, I'll just go around it. I'll just, you know, it's, it's fine. I'll just, you know, I, I'm not really like, oh, let me try to figure out. Let me try to make things better. Let me try to this, this, and that so we can get to this point. I'm just like, Ugh, I'm just trying to get this done. That's something I definitely had to work on was like seeing a challenge and actually pointing it out and trying to find a resolution to it, which would also help with showing initiative. So speaking of type A versus type B personality types, I feel like this is also something that may have worked against me a bit in this particular job um, and what their expectations were. So a type A person and some of their traits is they tend to have a more like aggressive nature. They tend to be really focused on like achievement, very hardworking, very confident, determined, um, and very good at like multitasking. They're energetic and they just really want to reach goals and they're really like passionate and they're just very go, go, go getters. They're always on their P's and Q's, I's dotted, T's crossed. It's just like how they naturally operate. So type B personalities are pretty much the opposite <laughs> to type A in many ways. This personality type tends to be more easygoing and have a more laid back nature such as myself um, and some of those traits are or like more relaxed or more like peaceful um, a little more just stress free just kind of try to stay away from like stressful things I guess for the most part um, we're like more flexible with things which is why I probably didn't like let me try to figure out a solution to the issue uh, you know we're just kind of more flexible with they were just like you know what whatever just easy going about it um, less competitive and it says being able to approach activities and tasks at a slower pace <laughs> which is interesting because that was something that did not work well here it was a pretty fast-paced environment so it, it kind of just worked against even that as well that type B people also <laughs> may miss deadlines or be a little bit procrastination and it also says may shy away from new opportunities and personal growth like that pretty much just explained what i kind of went over in the beginning which is crazy that's even before reading this yeah so that pretty much explains it um, some even say type B personalities tend to not maybe have like the best um, organization always and staying on top of things like super super on top of things. And so when I started this job something that I definitely did realize that I needed help in was organization. Um, especially with the emails my inbox was looking crazy like so I want to say like six months in. I missed maybe this literally the same email that would come in monthly I kept missing for like three months straight and I was like oh my goodness and I got called out for it twice and then it happened again and I was like bruh something's gotta give like what's going on so um, another team member who does do better with organization helped me organize my inbox so I had different subfolders for different types of emails that would automatically filter into different folders. So that helped me a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I would just go into a meeting kind of like, all right, and I'm not very good at winging things. Like I really need things laid out. Sometimes even what I'm gonna say, I need to kind of have it jotted down. And that can just come from me being an introvert and being shy that I just don't do well just off the top of my head. I didn't realize that until I realized it, that I would just kind of go into meetings like without the preparedness 
going into the, like this final decision and letting me go. You know, even though I did make some progress, you know, the disengaged and the not like really wanting to like reach and grow and showing that initiative to, you know, try to do responsibilities outside of my normal responsibilities and like really just trying to get outside of like just my box um, was just something that I just didn't end up doing still uh, because I was just trying to focus on getting my work done and doing it right and correctly before I can even focus on just doing other things. They were pretty much like, for the time that you've been here, you know, we just really haven't seen the amount of growth that we would have liked to see. And being that type B personality who is more relaxed, who is more laid back, you know, I can see how it came off as just me just not caring enough. One thing I did always know is that I never really cared, cared to climb the corporate ladder, you know? Yeah, I was just like, you know, I go to work, I do what I gotta do so I can get a check and go home. Like, that's it. And just that passion, I guess, for wanting to grow and climb the ladder was just never there for me. I guess I just value different things in life more than that workplace kind of culture and trying to really uh, climb that ladder. And that just wasn't a fit for this particular company and what they were looking for. So all in all, I don't think it's the end of the road of the nine to five type of work. There are so many different types of nine to five jobs. You know, there are some jobs that are just straightforward. They're just like, look, just do this. And as long as we can get this done and it's good <laughs> and the tasks are completed, then hey, cool, clock out. That's just what we're looking for. Something that doesn't maybe have a million moving pieces, something that I could focus on. Just a couple of main things. You know, there are jobs and teams that are more catered to that. And I definitely did learn some aspects of better organization and the time management and really trying to be more interpersonal um, and just focusing on all of those, those things. So um, I think that will definitely help me out in just finding a role that's more fitted for me and my personality type, but also taking into consideration those things that I um, could work on from my previous job as well. But yeah, guys, those are pretty much the reasons why I got <laughs> fired. <laughs> But all in all, you know, they were a very, you know, supportive team um, and they still extended um, their hand and their help and their advice if ever need be moving forward and discovering what works better for me going forward. So I'm grateful for that and all that, I, that they have done and the opportunity that they gave to me to have these realizations and discoveries going forward, not just in work, but just in life. Who knew like a job can not only have you reflect on work, but also help you reflect on different aspects about yourself and your personality when it comes to just life in general. So yeah. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope maybe this can resonate with someone else who is also or the personalities in a maybe a more hustle work culture type of environment and trying to find where they fit in best. So yeah guys, hopefully this was helpful and hopefully you guys learned something or took something away from this video. And if you did, don't forget to like and definitely subscribe for more in this journey as I go through it. And yeah guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.